What's up guys, Blade Angel. Now I'm recording this live using OBS Studio, so I apologize for any weird audio problems this video may have put up with it. And the reason I'm making this video is I've been getting a lot of Facebook comments and I've been getting a lot of uh, emails regard in regards to replicas, especially supercar replicas. I've made a lot of videos in regards to supercar replicas and uh, replica kit cars, or just kit cars in general. And as someone who has a growing audience, I wanna make sure that I'm covering my bases and I want to make sure that I'm spreading the right information. So I've been getting a ton of questions about these guys in specific. So, you know, I've already got their website pulled up and they're called Super Replicas. Their website used to be called uh, Super Car Replicas. So they keep changing their name and I'll, I'll go on and talk about that later. So here we see a Lamborghini Vanador LP704 replica. And well, that's just an actual Lamborghini Vanador. I highly doubt that's actually a replica. And let's go down here. So if you're a car guy, you immediately notice one problem. This is not the 704. This is the 754. So Lamborghini's name designations are normally given by horsepower and how many wheels are driving. So 700 horsepower, four wheel drive. This is the Super Veloce. All of these pictures are the Super Veloce. So they're not the LP 704. They're the LP 754. So already this company is not credible. Now let's talk about what they're saying. So here for $20,000, guys, $20,000, you know. Holy crap, I can get a Lamborghini Aventador replica that has a Toyota Camry V6 engine. So it's not going to be fast, but it's going to look sexy. I hope you guys know I'm being sarcastic, especially for my younger viewers. This is all sarcastic and it's all a joke because this is how much an actual Toyota 2018, because it claims, it claims to, oh, hold on. It claims to use the new, a new Toyota Camry V6 engine. Look at that. Wow. You know, Golly gee, you know, obviously I'm trying to sound robotic and sarcastic because that's exactly the point. Why? Why would I bother buying this car when I could, for $14,000 less, I can get the same engine in the sexiest car in the world. I don't even care about four seats or none of that. I can get a freaking car that looks like an Lamborghini Aventador. Guys, if it's too good to be true, it normally isn't. And I know some people also ask me questions about this one. So I, I'm not even trying to pronounce it because I suck at pronouncing I call it, you know, I never mind. I'm just not even say it. We're just gonna call it the newest Bugatti. So the newest Bugatti, obviously. Uh, so they claim it has the V12 BMW, and for thirty thousand, thirty-eight thousand dollars. My bad. For thirty-eight thousand dollars, you can get this beautiful car. Um, no, no, you can't. That's once again another joke. And once again, they have this freaking packages crap where they're trying to rip people off. Another joke is, so it says an Audi V8. I think it's from the Audi R8. So it says four point four seconds. They just rip those stats straight from an Audi R8. And here's the thing: just because you made the, just because it has the engine from the car that it's from, does not automatically mean it has the same statistics. The zero to sixty time is calculated by a lot of factors, including you know the overall chassis quality. More importantly, the tires on the car as well. You know the conditions that it's running under. So just because you shove the engine in, it does not mean that it's going to be. Look at this F one paddle shift. You know they're they're BSing you. Look Toyota Camry V six engine and F one paddle shift. You know. Having said that though, this one says it has an LS seven in it, and, and it says this, so all the packages are the same BS. It says the same thing for the Venador also, and okay. This car comes with an L7. Rather, I'd say it's the original car of L7. A Chevy Corvette Z06 from the C6 generation. Look at these prices. You know, let these sear a hole in your brain. Except for this weird outlier that has way too many miles on it. But look at these prices. And, oh, sorry. Go back here and look at this price. There's something up once again. Why would I buy this car when I could buy this car for a whole bunch cheaper? It's a load of crap. I mean, I'm sorry. It does not take a car guy or a genius to understand. They try to reasonably price the cars where, you know, if they said 10000 no one would fall for it. If they said 30000 it's not going to attract enough people. So they kind of try to, they try to say, you know, 20000 That's a believable number. People will think that for $20,000, they can make a car look that sexy. And they're going to use a Toyota Camry V6 engine. And people believe that. They believe this is an actual thing people can pull off in this world. And unfortunately... Because of that, they're going to get scammed because these guys are just going to pocket your money. So now I'm going to mention the Jalopnik article. Shout out to Jalopnik because I'm using their article. So I have to obviously, you know, give them credit where credit's due. So they've changed their names a ton. So I'm not going to actually read this. I'm going to browse through it. And here you see that they have changed their name a ton of times. And, you know, obviously I browsed through all those names. You can pause the video. And that's just more so for the fact that. You know, they're obviously shady people. Why do you need to change your name that many times unless you're, you know, a shady manufacturer? So here are the three rules of thumb for any kind of services or really any kind of, you know, food, cars, anything. It can either be good, cheap, or fast. You can only pick two.
and read it as is. And you've probably heard this. You've probably seen this meme somewhere. It's absolutely true. So these guys, they're promising good, you know, good quality actually looks like it's replica. It actually looks like how it is. It's cheap, you know, 20 grand and it's fast. You know, it's for 23 grand. You can get that LS7. That's 505 horsepower, guys. You can get a Lamborghini replica with 505 horsepower. That's a joke. So here's their YouTube channel. They actually go by a ton of YouTube channels, but this is their main one. It seems like here it is. Here's that crap Bugatti Chiron rep. Ah, crap. I just pronounced it. Now everyone's going to give me crap for how I pronounce it. Chiron Chiron. I don't care. That's not the point of this video. Okay. I'm I'm here to try to save people's money and make sure no one's spending their money wrong. This is their most popular video and you've definitely probably seen it. These guys are just full of crap. They're just all crap. So if we actually go back to their website and watch this piece of crap video play, it's a complete joke. Like once again, AMG Mercedes, they always have this weird, like, you know, typical, very, you know, higher end manufactured brand. You know, fortunately, you have some people who actually believe their videos are legit. I mean, here you've got like the top comment here where they're like, oh, wow, replica Lambo, you know, hell yes, ratchet girls can't tell the difference. Like, yes, they can if it's really crappy. And more importantly, especially since you're not even going to get your replica Lambo, boy, you, the money you're paying, it's not even going anywhere. You get, you got scammed. You're not getting anything back in return. So here's the most important part of the video. I'm going to talk about actual trusted manufacturers. So we're going to X some of these out. So let's talk about a replica of that brand that I have talked about on my channel. I'm not sponsored, not paid by any of these guys. I'm just trying to save you guys from getting scammed. DNA Automotive. So I show them on my channel sometimes and they make pretty legit Ferrari replicas. They are based in the United Kingdom. So I would say that if you're a United States viewer, ignore this entry because Chances are, I didn't. There's, I don't know if they have any official confirmation of a U.S. distributor. Don't get ripped off. Don't fall for a website that is a similar name in the U.S. For now, this is only for my United Kingdom viewers. So they make pretty legit cars if we look at them, and you can actually find them in car shows. And they're all, they actually aren't afraid to show their faces, which first off is the first sign that they're a legit company. They show their faces. You can find information about them, like any company logically should. They don't change their names. They're proud of the brand, and they've had forums that run for their builds, and they help their customers, and their customers help each other out with the builds. Now, let's go back to this. Guess what? They're good, and they're cheap. Because I would say they're good because they do the job. What job are they doing? They look like a Ferrari. You paid money to make a car that looks like a Ferrari, and you're getting that job. Are they fast? No. So they're just good, they're cheap, but they're not fast. Once again, too good to be true if it's all three, but these guys pass that check. They're just good and cheap. They're not fast. Why are they not fast? Well, they're based off a of Toyota MR2. Most of them are anyways. I know this one's based off some Mercedes. I forget, but they're, most of them are based off of pretty slow cars. So with that said, you're not going to get a fast car and that makes sense. And even then these cars, I think are running for around 25,000, 35,000 pounds easy and, you know, translate into dollars. I wouldn't even say they're that cheap. So when you're looking at 20, 23 grand um, freaking Aventadors, you know, that's that's a freaking joke. I hope you realize it's a joke. So now let's talk about United States ones. Factory 5. So these guys are one of my favorite ones to recommend. And here they have, so let's look at the Type 65 Coupe. Factory 5 has been around and they make legit cars. I mean, like I said, if you're, if you're a fan of classics, I mean, trying to find the original one of these is damn near impossible and Probably, you know, you wouldn't even want to daily drive it, but you could daily drive this car if you wanted, if you build your own, and it's a great project, and it's a lot of fun to be had. I know a lot of people hate replica cars, but at the end of the day, there's some type of preservation to it. You know, some people like, you know, they, they really admire the historical value of it, and obviously, they're not going to get the hands on the original one, because they don't have millions of dollars to spend on the original one. Let's take a look at their supercar, the GTM. This thing's pretty sexy. I love it, and it's really fast. You know, this thing easily can run 2.8, three seconds, zero to 60 times, and it uses a C5, C5 Corvette um, as a donor car, not required, but it makes the it makes the build faster. It says 24.9. I would I would give you guys a better estimate. I would say to get one of these rolling at minimum 58 grand at minimum. Most people are spending 70, 80 grand period. So it's quite the investment. You know, it's not you know it's not cheap anymore. It's good and fast, but it's not cheap anymore. If you don't have the money, you buy the 818. So if you look at the 818, now this is what 20 grand is actually going to get you. So for 20 grand, you're going to need, an, you can get an 818 and it's going to be around, you know, four seconds because the car only weighs 818 kilograms. It's a really light car. It does not require a Subaru Impreza. That's just recommended, but it's going to speed up the build. It, it doesn't need a donor car. And, you know, the kit costs around, yeah, it costs, realistically, I'd say 20, 30 grand for a running model because it doesn't have any paint on it. You're going to need wheel and tires. You're going to need an engine and you're going to need a transmission. And... 
you're easily looking around, yeah, 20, 30 grand range. But that's what that's actually going to get you. This is an actual kid car that's going to get you, not that piece of crap Lamborghini that I just showed you. You're not going to get a Lamborghini Veno replica for 20 grand. You know, if I could build a Lamborghini replica, you know, let's go back to the website. I mean, I might get a virus from them. I mean, if, if, I, if my channel disappears the next day, you know what happened to me. But, I mean, if I could build a Lamborghini replica, I could sell it for probably two or three times this price easy and i mean the, if i legitly build one like actually legitly built a really good looking replica i'm gonna need some pretty good compo equipment to do it i need a lot of, i need a team to do it too and i'd be an actual basically company and i could easily sell them for 60 grand why would i bother selling them for 20 grand because people would still buy them for 60 grand i'm not even kidding you so from a business perspective you already know this is bs so let's keep going on with our search so I feel so sorry. So Race Car Replicas is a legit website, and they have the huge misfortune of sharing a very similar name to these. To these, I almost said a bad word, but I want this to be more child friendly. You know, it sucks. Do not confuse these two, okay? Sometimes these guys go by Supercar Replicas or Super Replicas, but they are not the same as Race Car Replicas. So Race Car Replicas specializes. They're American based. They do ship internationally. You know, they 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 make a Ferrari. It's a very old one, but it's the old P4. And yeah, it's not the greatest looking or the most accurate, but it's a nice car, I would say. I mean, they already got the exhaust wrong. It's supposed to be, you know, that. But, you know, for the price you pay, you know, it starts at that price and that for complete kit. You're looking upwards of 60, 80 grand once again. So it's not a cheap car, but you get yourself a pretty good car that looks pretty legit. And, you know, it's paying homage. And that's the actual cost of it. You know, if you want a replica Ferrari, you're paying that actually has a good engine in it that can go pretty fast, you're paying around 60, 80 grand. You're not paying 20, 30 grand. So, you know, once again, joke, you know, those are Lambos, but I know I mentioned parallel designs. So these guys have been quiet. I unfortunately will no longer recommend them. So I've recommended them on one video, but I will actually say I will no longer recommend them because they have been very inactive, very quiet for a long time. So I'm not sure if they're even still open. You know, they made really good Lamborghini Diablo replicas, and you can find some on the used market in the United Kingdom. So that's something you can look at, too, if you really want a Lamborghini Diablo replica. Even, you know, even if you're looking for used ones on the United Kingdom, I would say 30, you know, that's too little. I would say 40,000 pounds minimum. You know, they're still going for pretty good prices. Those are the legit car manufacturers or replica manufacturers. I know we can go through more. We have Ariel as an arcade car manufacturers. They're not cheap, though. You know, Ariel, we have Ariel. Uh, hold on, that's probably, yeah, um, not that one. Um, Jesus, why can I not type? So the Ariel Adam, they also make off-road cars as well. And yeah, they're another legit kit car manufacturer. And Caterham, Caterham, they're based in the United Kingdom, but they do have a U.S. distributor. In the United States, I would, minimum 40000 So if we click on their website, most of the cars go up to $80,000 or 100000 even. So if we go to their dealerships. Anyway, you know, you know they're, they're really expensive, so they're not cheap either, but they're pretty, they're fun cars. They're a good manufacturer to look at too. So at the end of the day, you know, remember this. I know most people think it's just a meme, but it's legit. If it doesn't pass this test, you know, if it's good, cheap, and fast, something's up. Period. I'm, I'm sorry. That's how the world works. It's very rare you get all three of those in one thing. So, you know, don't don't spend your money. Don't get scammed. Don't buy this. Don't buy that. Buy yourself an actual Toyota Camry V6 if you want a Camry V6 engine. Buy yourself an actual Corvette z06 c6 if you want an l7 engine if you want a car that looks like a lamborghini for cheap if you're in the United kingdom buy buy a, a used parallel designs car buy an old torero and that's all i can say unfortunately for the united states if you want a lamborghini replica build your own build your own maybe go on ebay or craigslist even then they're gonna be more expensive than you realize like Lamborghini replicas, like I said, like I'm not an idiot, and I think anyone who takes the time to build a Lamborghini replica isn't an idiot either. They're gonna sell it for at least twice the price, or three times the price. And sure, sixty grand compared to you know the actual Venador's price being three hundred, four hundred grand depreciation taken into consideration. But I mean, this is the super low shade, obviously, which is gonna cost around five hundred, six hundred grand. But this one is around three hundred fifty-ish grand now. We'll say. You know, for 60 grand for a car that looks like that, I mean, if you browse eBay, you can probably find one for 50, 60 grand pretty easy, actually. But you're never going to find one for 20 grand, guys. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. And please, if you do know someone who's considering cars like this or just looking for replicas or kit cars, set on this video. Make sure they're getting pointed in the right direction. There are some that I may not have come across. There may be more trustworthy manufacturers that I did not mention. And you can do your research. You can read forums. 
but these are the ones that I confirm know are trustworthy on that I've shown in this video. And for the love of God, do not get ripped off by these guys. So other than that, if you like an automotive channel that uploads regularly, make sure to subscribe, like this video. And yeah, like I said, please share with friends, please share with people who are considering buying a replica car or a kit car because you need to make sure you're not getting ripped off. Everyone in the world wants your money. You gotta be careful of who you're giving your money to. They better be giving you good product. So thanks for watching. Blade Angel out.